So what's going on people, welcome to another video on the channel and something completely different for the channel itself. This is a talking section of the channel. I'm going to be doing a thing that I used to do ages ago. It's called the talking point and in the talking point we go over specific topics where we can talk it through and maybe discuss some new ideas towards these type of topics. Now in today's topic it is about how to improve the predictability of the Call of Duty franchise. Now, I will say before we get into the video, please comment down your opinions on how Call of Duty, you know, Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games as well can improve their games or improve their whole franchise in general. Because I feel like in the future, Call of Duty might be a dying out game. It's been around for years, but it might die out very soon if they don't improve how they do their games. And also remember to like, subscribe, comment down below in any way that I can improve these videos as well. And if you want to see some more talking points or anything else on the channel, then please also comment down below and remember to like the video. So I don't want this video to be too long. So if we do get straight in with it, with how can Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games improve the predictability of the Call of Duty franchise. Now, the f only thing that I can properly think about is having Call of Duty as a self-evolving game instead. Now, when I mean a self-evolving game, it means a game that comes out once only and then only adds in map packs for complete seasons instead. So this idea has come from previous Call of Duty games with Call of Duty Online and then also Call of Duty Mobile, which is coming out very soon, I think. And then also Rainbow Six Siege, because Rainbow Six Siege did come out, I think it was like three years ago, and it's been around for three years now. And it just keeps on adding new content. It's They haven't made a new game. They just keep on adding new stuff to the game, which realistically has worked phenomenally well for them. But instead for Call of Duty, I think for the past uh, 16 years they've made, or 15 years, getting to 16 years, that they've made a Call of Duty every single year. So at this stage, I feel like it is incredibly repetitive. At first it was completely fine. Having a new Call of Duty every single year, it's been an amazing feeling over, I think, since I th probably about Black Ops 3 was the last time people kind of got into that type of vibe as soon as after Black Ops 3, these last three years of the Call of Duty franchise, it's kind of dipped down quite a bit. But I will say that the whole Call of Duty type of experience, all the type of games, are very predictable for how they're all set out as well. In the fact of just the main culprit towards all this is Treyarch. Treyarch, since 2010, have made a Black Ops game four times. So that is four times in eight years. So it has like always been a a three year gap since about 2012, since uh, you know Sledgehammer Games kind of started to make their own stuff and they did Advanced Warfare. But if we do go towards the idea of having a probably a self evolving type of Call of Duty game, maybe the Call of Duty Online that has been created in China, which is just a self-evolving type of thing, where it just keeps on adding new maps every single, I think it was like a couple of months, or maybe the Call of Duty Mobile, where that's going to be adding in any map from any of the franchises. It doesn't have a restricted, like, oh, it's only going to be Black Ops, and it's only going to be Modern Warfare. They're all just chucked into one game. Maybe that can come to consoles and PCs in the future. Maybe just release one game. Maybe... Maybe even like their next game or maybe Sledgehammer's next game because I'm going to guess the next Call of Duty is probably going to be Modern Warfare 4 just to finish off the franchise, finish off the whole Modern Warfare series, hopefully. We don't want it to maybe extend it for too long and hopefully Black Ops 4 is the last Black Ops in the franchise. We don't want a fifth. This is the main thing. They could go to a V, but I don't think the whole fan base wants a Black Ops 5 at this rate. And the same with the Modern Warfare. People who like the Modern Warfare series, they don't want it to go to Modern Warfare 9, essentially. My hoping for myself is that in maybe, you know, 2020, 2020 is the year for Sledgehammer Games. And Sledgehammer Games have had a very diverse type of selection of how they've done their games. The two games that they have been primarily done by themselves is Advanced Warfare, and they did have Modern Warfare 2. Now, 
Advanced Warfare did all right. It was the setting of the futuristic type of thing. It had the exosuits and all of that. So that set up the type of movement style towards Black Ops 3. And then they did have Modern Warfare 2, which set up the style towards the boots on the ground towards Black Ops 4. So essentially at this rate that Sledgehammer Games are the kind of trendsetters towards the next games, essentially. I'm not going to say that they are, but maybe in 2020, you know, Sledgehammer Games can bring out a game called Call of Duty Online. They bring it out, they have a season pass, or they have their own game, and they have a set amount of game modes, they have a set amount of uh, different things. It's not going to have a campaign, it'll just have multiplayer, it'll have a maybe a co-op type of section towards it. Maybe sell it for maybe like $40, £40, £50, £50, and it'll include maybe like 20 maps, but it'll have uh, maybe like 10 maps right from the start, and then over the year, they'll just keep on adding in new maps, and then after that one, it will go back to Treyarch, and then Treyarch, maybe, if they, if, if they, if they dare want to go away from the Black Ops franchise, they can just add in new maps, another game mode, maybe the zombies can come into the Call of Duty Online. Again, no campaign because, you know, I think Call of Duty's done with campaigns at this point. There's no real point. Modern Warfare 4 will have a campaign because it has to finish off somewhere. We need to know what, like, you know, Price is doing. We need to see if bloody Ghost is alive from his bloody shot to the face or whatever. The conspiracies are that it's in his shoulder instead. And didn't get burnt and all that. Ghost's dead. Live with it. But you know, maybe Treyarch and Infinity Ward can go towards that instead. Just have a an ever-longing type of evolving Call of Duty game. And then over time, the graphics can be upgraded towards little packs. It's been done before towards Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. We have seen upgrades towards the graphics. We have seen upgrades towards the performance. We don't need proper upgrades for every single game we don't need a completely new game to have exactly the same graphics but a little bit different to the movement system yes we could have the same movement system probably keep it as just boots on the ground maybe with a little bit of vaulting that's completely fine people like that type of stuff we don't want to be strapped to a glider and just going across the entire map Keep it at boots on the ground makes it a little bit simple towards the maps yes it can be very simplistic towards the maps but maybe we can just have different game modes towards it maybe have like how a lot of different franchises are doing you know like a um if i can put it on the screen a pvpve type of setting where it's player versus player versus ais essentially maybe you know call of duty can kind of add that in it's quite hard because they're not used to having a ai type of setting they used to just having it towards a campaign or maybe zombies they haven't done a co-op or a spec ops mode since Modern Warfare 3, so it's a little bit harder for them to do that. But, you know, maybe they can add it in. Maybe they can add in a spec ops type of thing again. So, like, you know, Infinity Ward, pretty good at doing that one. I, I know personally they're pretty good at doing that one. If they can add in the co-op mode, that can be their type of new game mode towards the Call of Duty online experience. And, you know, Treyarch's is zombies. Treyarch's officially type of thing is zombies at this point and then maybe you know call of duty online can have its own battle royale mode and then maybe each year they can just have two maps that both or like all three of their type of studios can make but i'm just saying that this is just a wild idea i am, I am hoping that this type of thing does happen in the future because if it doesn't i will see call of duty just die out and completely go in it's like already we are seeing a lot of streamers going away from the blackout mode. We are seeing a lot of mainstream streamers that have been with the franchise for years go completely away from it and go towards Fortnite. Like having a, a free to play game is a completely worthwhile thing. As long as you keep on updating it, it's completely fine. If they had a paid for game, but then have a service which is a lot cheaper per year, then it kind of works out a lot more. Maybe have an in-game currency which will work, don't have it as a pay-to-win or pay-to-cosmetics pimp-out type of style too much, because as well that could very much damage the game. But that is just my idea of Call of Duty just having a one game per maybe three years. They could do it per three years and then maybe have another one 
maybe just have like a Call of Duty, whatever it is, whatever they want to name it. They 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 can think of names. All the names sound all right, but you know it it would be nice to have that. I I do want your guys' opinions as well. Like, do you guys think that that is a pretty good idea? Maybe it could be. Maybe it might not work. We don't know. But I want your guys' opinions towards this. So hope you guys enjoy. Uh, before I lose my voice, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So. Peace out.